Aggie innovation in a society turning to more natural foods. People want to know what's going in their bodies, even if it's food coloring. At Texas A&M, researchers are developing vegetable-based alternatives. KAG's HD News reporter Monica Castro shows how researchers are now using purple sweet potatoes as a source for our food dyes. Have you ever stared at a food product's label and wondered what is Red 40? It can be kind of scary eating lots of artificially colored foods. I, th I think the trend right now is to for food companies to move towards natural colors. Have you ever wondered how foods got their vibrant, bright colors? Well, unlike these goldfish that use juice concentrate for color, other items use some other unappetizing ingredients. The cochineal, the carminic acid beetle. This is a, a small little bug that grows on cactus plants down in South America, and they've been used for centuries as natural colors. The problem is the little bug, the red pigment that's found on the bug, is a bug extract. You're literally eating crushed bugs. That ingredient doesn't sit well with some consumers. So researchers are extracting color from the purple sweet potato. They're going to yield more pigment, and our research is basically showing how to enhance more of that pigment, again, to drive the cost down to make these natural colors more affordable in the market. While creating synthetic coloring is cheaper. There have been negative effects uh, been associated with synthetic colorants. Um, there are some hypotheses say it would increase uh, ADHD or would increase cancer. The purple sweet potato not only creates colorful results, it has antioxidants. And though this bright vegetable looks unusual to eat. I've made baked potatoes out of them. I've made sweet potato french fries out of them. And if you, if you blindfold, taste them, you think you're just eating a sweet potato. This research hoping to replace fake products for natural ingredients. Monica Castro, KAGS HD News.